Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I know that I have not picked you guys up in so long. I have reasons for it. Mainly, I just did not want to put out as soon as I start vlogging. As soon as I start vlogging, people are always texting me. Ugh. Anyway, needless to say, sorry that I have not picked you guys up in a while. I have my reasons for it. Mainly, I just wanted to put out meaningful content and I wanted to schedule it properly. So first off, my name is Brittany. If you did not know, welcome back to my channel if you've been here. And if you're new, hello. Today we are vlogging, which I'm very excited about. I don't like this look right now. Um, today we are vlogging, which I'm very excited about just because that it's a two-day vlog. Today my plans are to join the St. Patrick's Day Parade out in New York City. First time doing it. The only thing that I hate about it is that it is going to rain. So I don't know how this look is going to last, but I'm going to try my best. Of course, I'm going to take you guys with me and show you what it's like to go to a St. Patrick's Day Parade out here with my friends. We're doing, I think, a little bit of bar hopping as well. I'm not sure. It's 8.41. I'm supposed to be there around 9.30 to get started. So I just wanted to give you guys a little quick update before everything takes in place. If you like videos like this, which are vlogs, I kindly ask if you can like, comment, and subscribe. I will not disappoint you. If you haven't already, check out the previous vlogs so you can get updated to see who I am, what I'm about, and what I offer. Other than that, I'm going to get dressed. Well, I am dressed, but I'm going to finish getting dressed by putting on like the rest of my stuff, my lip liner and whatnot, and then I'm going to head out the door and head to, I think we're headed to a bar. I'm meeting up most of my friends at a bar, 9.30 in the morning. Um, so yeah. I obviously put a little bit of green in my inner eye just to celebrate the theme of today, which is St. Patrick's Day. I don't really like my look, to be honest with you, but it's raining and the humidity is nasty, so I put no effort into this. Other than that, I'll catch you guys up or I'll pick you guys back up when I actually get there so I can show you who I'm with. So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we are at Connolly's Bar in the city. I'm not giving you guys a good look of everything. I gotta do it when I come in, but as you can see, almost everyone is wearing green for the holiday. Really? Oh. Low I just threw on anything green besides my hat 
as you can see it's a very bummy day i'm not sure if you guys can even hear me with the background noise i'm gonna try to enhance my audio whenever i edit this but yeah my necklace is backwards this is what i look like for the day real basic i even had to come into the bathroom just to show you guys um so yeah, I'm just waiting to, we're all just waiting just to get started with the parade. I can't wait to get started since the rain finally stopped. And I'm gonna record more for you guys, so. This defeat. Oh, it's like a, like a diner. It felt like diner food. <laughs> Dominique, you gonna get up on the vlog? <laughs> and act crazy on the vlog. <laughs> Alright, I got my friend with me. Look how cute she is, y'all! Oh, oh, well, we gotta be in coordination. Alright, let's show y'all. We're wearing Manhattan College Sages. Even though we don't go to this, we don't know we don't go to this school even though we've been asked where are we black irish <laughs> we i've definitely been asked in my black irish celebrating this we haven't seen a lot of black us. irish we haven't black. seen a lot of us if y'all know what that means i only see police officers out here that look like us not anybody else oh, we are the only i'm telling you oh my god I can't believe I look like this, Dominique. I thought you were my friend. Oh, no, and my camera nice. looks dirty. Let me clean y'all. Hold up. My feet are frozen, y'all. Really? <laughs> oh my god. It's not that bad, but just a little bit. Honestly, it's a little hard to record and walk. You gotta be a little bit funny up in this. And my hair is giving synthetic 99 cent wig vibes. But okay. Okay. All right, great. Yeah, what time you want to do? Got one of these. 78th 70, and second uh, Uber. UVA. Right. Oh, we're recording. All right, coming. <laughs> you got the book so, on. You got the book on. Go to 10. So who? Uh, oh, sorry, Bree. Everybody pick the they, what they want, what days they want to come in. How many days? If you pick three days, you get an office or a desk. Say you only want to come in twice a week, you don't get a desk. You just get a cubicle. You get one. Well, no, you have to sign up for a desk when you come in. Sign up for a desk. But you already have. This is you already have an office. Oh, I signed up. Initially, I said four days. But then they sent them out a monkey thing and they a monkey thing. Monkey survey they call it. <laughs> oh, survey monkey. Survey monkey. <laughs> a monkey. I said survey. a monkey thing. What? 
<laughs> what are you talking about? So I put down. You are a pro. You have to be in this business. It's a lot. We uh, they they put down. I put down Tuesday, Wednesday. Did we order dinner yet? No, I didn't. Not yet. I did not. That looks the, uh, pretty good. What is that? The white mozzarella wrap and prosciutto. Yeah. That looks good. It's a lot of Bianca. A few moments later. Haven't been recording that much. I haven't been recording that much, as y'all can see. Ooh, let me zoom out. But, we are, um, I'm 42nd. I just finished getting some sweats just because I messed up my pants. Funny story. And um, I wanted to just get some new ones before the store closes. So now we're on our way to dinner. I don't even know where we're going to. Gallagher's restaurant or something like that. I think it's like a steakhouse. So we're heading there now. I gotta switch my clothes. When I get inside the restaurant and able to um, switch my outfit, I'll show you guys what I bought real quick. You bought? Watch <laughs> Of course she had to say that shit on camera. You filthy bitch. I can't. Alright, bon appetit everyone. Thank you. Dominique, you're not doing a video or like a boomerang? Y'all, look at all of this meat that they have aging here. They just have it sitting in it's like an extra room that I guess that they're having it prepared. It looks so cool. Good morning, guys. What is that? Good morning, guys. Oh my God, look at me. First off, I have no idea where I left off in the vlog. No idea, I just remember I stopped recording. And I'm now looking at myself on camera. Look at my lashes, let me zoom in. Look at this. Oh my God, where's the rest of my lashes? This is comical, oh my gosh. Let me sit up, hold up. Oh. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another, not another. I'm just picking this up from last night. Um, I have no idea why I left off in the vlog at all. I just remembered that I really didn't get to vlog as much as I wanted to just because last night was one of the first nights that I had so much fun with so many different people that I didn't even think about recording. I just thought about my fun, fun, fun. I was hanging around with so many different friends and we just like vibed. So sorry. My goal was to film so much content yesterday that I completely did not. I did like snips and little bits and pieces of it. but. I'll give you a rundown of everything when I do my makeup later on tonight. And who is texting me? Oh, I'll do that later. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I had like a full night. So I really didn't get a chance to talk to you guys, vlog as much as I wanted to. Um, so when I do my makeup on later on tonight, I'll definitely make sure I do a chit chat with you guys and tell you about everything that happened yesterday while I prepare for later on this evening. I already been up. It's almost 11, but I just didn't pick up the camera and, um, I'm about to eat lunch really quick, like a quick brunch lunch and, um, get my day started. I have to just drop off pump. Pumpkin, excuse me for those who don't know, that's my dog. Oh my God. It's every time when I pick up the camera, and I don't know if you guys notice that, if you ever pay attention to the vlogs, every time that I pick up the camera, that's when my phone goes off the most. It's very annoying, but um, that's why for those who always wanna ask me, why is your phone on do not disturb? This is why, I hate the notifications with the passion. 
So I say all this to say, um, today's agenda, I think I just have to get Pump updated with the vet, you know, just make sure that she's okay. Um, I have a huge gap of time to do nothing, so I might do some shopping. I want to get a new outfit for this party tonight if we still go. Oh my god. It's like people know when I'm filming. And I always hear YouTubers say this. They're like, people know when I'm filming, so that's when they hit me up the most. And that's strange because it's literally happening. 30 minutes ago before I picked up the camera, nobody was even texting me or calling me. Weird. I got home so late. So late. And I was out. I told you guys, I, I left the house at like... 8.30. Eight fifty. I left the house at like eight fifty in the morning, and I came home around like one. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't do that. So this was a really big night, but I need to hurry up and eat this food real quick so I could get Pump and me ready for her appointment and whatnot. Her birthday's coming up, so you know I gotta make sure my baby is good. I'll pick you guys up for sure I will I'll pick you guys up when I'm done but I at least just wanted to get up on here and show face I wash my face obviously brush my teeth before I went to go walk her this morning my face is real my face is under the weather at the moment just because TMI I'm finishing up my cycle so it causes more um, flare-ups to happen but um, it is going back to normal, believe it or not. It's just going through the transitions. I'm going to stop talking. I just want to like hurry up and eat and just feel a little bit better. So like I said, I'll pick you guys up for sure when I'm about to walk out the door and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to try to get my voice down. But look at that. <laughs> Oh, she's so scared. Look at her face. Hello. Hi, Pum. <laughs> she's super, super afraid. She does not like visits. Oh my God, look at my lash. I've got to get these fixed. I just look disgusting. Pum. Let me put you guys down. previously told you I was going to do like a little chit chat and catch up with you guys talk to you guys while I doing my makeup because I'm going out so here we are I first want to just let you know if the audio is bad please forgive me I have a lot going on in my background and I'm trying to make the ends of it well make the best of it I should say as you can hear there's sirens there's too much going on this is ghetto for me First things first, the first thing that I did, I just finished washing my face. It looks really, really bad. As I said, I'm just finishing over my cycle, so it's still coming out in my skin. I feel even worse just because of my lashes are, one is beautiful and the other is shitty. And I'm trying to make myself look cute doing it, but we're here. So. First thing I'm just gonna do, I should probably zoom you out a little bit. That's a little bit better. So after I finish washing my face, which I just did, this is clean, bare skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Good Molecule skincare to just prep my skin for the makeup. First things first, I am gonna just be using their brightening toner. I like a good amount. I just saturate mine like a lot and as usual sweep that all over my face the goal tonight is to have 
the best makeup possible as much as I can achieve and it always starts with good skin clean skin so that's why I always watch my wash my face first before doing anything and then priming that does help as well I'm getting into it I was never a priming person I just usually always moisturize heavily before doing foundation but as you get older makeup evolution changes the way how you do stuff changes so i'm now into priming and i make sure with this brightening toner which i do think is really working so i'm going to take a little fluffy brush like this very very little taking all that off sweep 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 you see this is actually too much from what i saw in the video so i'm going to still take a lot of this off ever so lightly try to move the product all over I like dabble it a little bit you know when you put too much powder on when you do the final step which is priming and I'll show you in a second but I can tell from the camera that I definitely put way too much on way too much and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about when we get to the actual priming step I'm going to be using this Urban Decay D Slick. I actually need to re-up, but I was lazy. And you're going to let that, you know, soak into the skin. I always use like a little piece of paper. This is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD, which is high definition, smoothing face primer. Actually, I think I said this in my makeup video, my uh, makeup tutorial, that I actually did like this, even though I got this on sale at Target. Yes, it does have the yellow sticker. It's actually pretty good because it's a silicone base, so it's not going to, in my opinion, for at least my face, it's not just going to go inside of my pores. It's going to sit on my face, so it makes it, for the makeup, it makes it like buttery smooth, if that makes sense. So I like to put a great amount on, a great amount. And remember when I said, you'll see if this whole powder thing works. If you put on the primer, like the silicone primer, you'll see if you put too much because the residue will show up on your skin. I think I put too much, so I'm expecting it, but who knows. So I rub that all in. And we're going to be concentrating the primer mainly here, here, and here. So I put some there. Rub that in. Uh, so I want it to look just like this. And what do you know? I surprised myself. The residue didn't show. Hmm. So I guess I put a great amount on. I'm shocked. So once you finish that, that's how I'm going to get into the rest of the face. I start my makeup trends a little bit different compared to others. I like to do brows first, so I'm going to zoom you guys in for that. Okay, so I got you guys zoomed in. I really didn't want to because I already know the first thing is, the first thing that usually everybody sees is the eyes and you guys can clearly see that I need to refill my lash. I was not expecting it to be this way. This looks really terrible, but we're here now and I'm going to fix it up. I'm thinking about putting like a strip lash underneath it for tonight but we're here so the first thing I think well why am I having a hard time talking the first step that I'm going to do is go ahead and use my LA girl pro well LA girl brow pomade this one is in the number GBP365 in dark brown um, I picked this up only just because it was on sale at Target I don't even know how much they retail for but I do know that I paid like two bucks for this and I actually like it I actually do I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of that setting powder on my brows I did this in my last makeup video too um, I've always done this for a long time I just like my brow area to be very very dry to get rid of any of the oils so that's why when I put on anything for the brows it sticks perfectly 
So we're gonna go ahead and not really make a fake brow, just carving out what I actually have. I use very, very little. And I like to keep constantly working in the product so I'll draw it on and then dip it back in. You'll see me constantly do that. So now that I have my eyebrows kind of the way how I like it, just keep in mind this is not the final way. This is just like an outline. When I put on my powders and my foundation, it tends to move a little bit and that's fine for me, but this is just an outline. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this, what is it? It's a MAC Technical Eyeliner. Technically it's supposed to go in here, but I actually like it on my brows way more. And I do very light strokes since it's extremely pigmented. And I try to do like fake eyebrow strokes. We're gonna do them like that. You don't need too much, trust me. And I do it just like that. I'm gonna take the same spoolie I had earlier and we're just gonna kinda like brush them through to fill in those sparse areas. So, I make sure I really blend it. And even brushing it downwards too helps everything become seamless. One trick I've always learned. That's why I said before, I did not want to carve out my brows using any concealer and I think I did a good job. So I'm gonna keep it just like this. Now we're gonna go on to the rest of the face where I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you can see how I create myself. So now that it's time for foundation, I go into my NARS. I can't even tell you. Oh, it's on the back. I'm gonna be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Tahoe. Now, I definitely know that because we're approaching spring and summer, um, I probably need to update my shade. Who knows? I actually don't like this lighting. Let me try to adjust it really quick. Eh. This is a little bit better. This looks a little bit more like my skin. I'm playing around with the lighting, so please forgive me if it doesn't look up to par. I feel like this vlog and this video is so ghetto and all the way terrible, but... We're here now. So as I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my foundation. I go back and forth between using a sponge and using an actual brush, um, depending on what my skin looks like that day. But I'm definitely going to be using a brush. No, a sponge. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a basic little flat brush, I guess. Um, the other one that I use to do this, it's a bigger brush. It's just, I can't find it, so I substitute. So I concentrate most of my makeup into this area of my face, like the middle of it, and then I blend around. I know this is not what I said I was gonna talk about when I said I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I just wanted to at least point out a specific thing before I jump into it. Since a lot of people have surprisingly wrote me separately in my DMs on Instagram or Facebook and always asked me how do I do my makeup or how do I cover acne scars. I don't think I do it very well, honestly. It takes a lot, but since some of you think that I do well, I just wanted to mention that. So anyway, let's get into just talking about something more interesting than me putting on makeup. Okay, so yesterday I told you guys I went to the St. Patrick's Day Parade and I went with some friends. I feel bad I didn't record too much, but you saw what y'all saw and I hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And it was really, really nice. The only thing that killed me was that I had to be there super early. I didn't realize that it's a tradition to go to different bars um, early in the morning and get drunk, basically. You eat, for sure, like we did eat. I had a breakfast, but there were a lot of people getting drunk at 8, 9, early in the morning. 
and that's new for me i mean i've heard of it but it's new for me since i don't do that so we get started and we're finally going to walk and that's when it hit me like oh my god there's a lot of people in new york who celebrate this holiday i'm not saying that i was super shocked i guess i was more shocked that when we walked the streets we walked in the city um 20 something blocks i was just more sh i was just really shocked that there were so many people who came out to wave and just cheer us on and i'm like this is a thing oh i did not know that like i was really 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 shocked i liked it a lot it gave me a sense of wow there's so many people in this community who really embrace one another and they really support this particular holiday i wish no shade i wish more african-american events took place like that other than the labor day event where we can come together i'm just not used to that so it was really really fun to experience it i had my friends with me and as i said before it was just like a new thing to do i've never done anything like that after that what did we do we finally went to lunch because it was definitely time and that's when we finally got to let our hair down drink more eat super 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 fun i had a blast like just letting my hair down and drinking and whatnot i this is my first time ever trying a moscow mule google it if you don't know what it is my friend damo she put me on to it and i kid you not i swear i think we had six rounds i swear we had to have at least six and i knew that that way she was tired of us because i was like uh-huh keep keep them up yeah keep them coming come on come, yeah don't no 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 yeah come come this way i like another one please thanks i could tell she was a little bit annoying but happy st patrick's day we were there for a bit i think it came to the point we were there for like four hours because the owner or maybe the manager he was like hey guys um i'm gonna need this table now y'all been here since we opened we were the first table there that's how you knew that we meant business and it was like what eight of us so yeah food was cool it was really a nice pure italian restaurant so it was really really good but yeah after that what did we do i'm really sitting here trying to think this is hard for me i don't know how youtubers are able to chit chat and do their makeup at the same time because i'm concentrating on so many sorry if y'all heard that i'm concentrating on so many things at once and trying to remember this process that i do like step by step without forgetting what i did yesterday to tell you guys in the video this is a lot like a chit chat get ready with me i need to keep practicing on why are my neighbors so loud please forgive me guys sorry after we no they're really not serious we're not doing this um so yeah after we um finished there after we kind of got kicked out of the other place because we were there for like three or four hours as it's a tradition, I guess, with St. Patrick's Day, you bar hop. So we went right next door, and I kid you, right next door to this other restaurant where we really wasn't even getting anything to drink. We weren't really there to like get super, super plastered or whatnot. We just wanted a place to just sit and talk and just hang out. So that's really what we did. I think I got half a drink, a half a margarita, just because I didn't need anything else. And that's where, silly me, oh my god, I wasted a drink all over my outfit, which I was super annoyed about because I wanted to take pictures, didn't work out. And we were expected to go to dinner at the end of it. And I told my friends, I was like, I'm not going nowhere with, you know, all of this on me. They're like, oh no, just wait until it dries. Listen, listen, I am not like that. If I ruin my outfit and I'm outside already, you best believe it's either I'm going home and calling it a night. 
they have motorcycles. Oh my God, hold on, let me just pause. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted. So, I was saying like, if I ruin my outfit, you best believe it's either I'm going home or I'm just gonna buy a new one. Like, that's just it. I'm not gonna try to ruin the evening for everyone else, but I'm not going anywhere with, you know, water stains or if I spilled juice on me, I'm not gonna go out. Like, who's doing that? And you know me, somebody who's an influencer now and recording stuff, I don't want you guys seeing that. That's not ladylike. So no, I'm not doing that. So I had to convince everybody to come with me to, um, where do we go? We went to Forever 21 because at that time in Times Square, if you if you know, you know, the Forever 21 that's on 42nd Street, you know, everybody usually goes there. I used to work there many, many moons ago, and that's a different video that I'll talk to you guys about. But it usually stays open late because of COVID, they reduce their hours, but they usually have been staying open until 2 a.m. And because that was nearby, I said, let's just go and uh, let me get a little outfit. Went with our friends, well, went with my friends, and it was fun. Just, you know, after drinking, you know, you just, you feel different after drinking. It's just like, all right, let's go do this. All right, let's go do that. It was just fun vibes. So we ended up going there, and I just got a little regular outfit, nothing too fancy. And then we went to, what do we do? We went to this restaurant that I've heard of, but I was never pressed on going just because I'm like, eh, I never really hear any of my friends or the people I hang out with them in my, I never hear my friends or socialites or anyone else really talk about going to Gallagher's. Um, apparently it's like the, go to steakhouse and I love steak so I was shocked that I never been but boy I'm happy that I did I'm happy that I did so I didn't really get to vlog much just because I was having so much fun getting like into the spirit of the holiday that I feel so bad I didn't record but you guys understand things like that happen often sometimes where you get caught up and you really do forget so I'm sorry I'm trying to get better at this I really really am but it ain't easy and the stuff that we saw too like when we were out it's it was content worthy for me to like record but I'm like, forget it. The vlog doesn't want to see this. The people on YouTube, they don't care. They rather see, you know, really interesting stuff. They don't want to see half of this other stuff that I'm witnessing. So that's why I didn't record that much. But tonight, tonight, I am doing my due diligence and we are recording. I'm still debating if I want to bring this camera versus just vlogging off my phone which seems safer um but i think more so about the quality when i do my videos and i don't know we're still we're still up in the air with that just put it that way so to be honest with you i don't feel like i have that much to talk to you guys about i wish i did have more but i'm a little bit of a boring person slightly so I'm just going to finish doing my makeup and have you guys watch while I just throw on some music and, you know, get a little prettified. The thing that I want to record the most and have you guys see, I'm going to try to perfect my lashes because there's no way I'm going out like this. Imagine me, I'm in a bartender's face. Hey, can I get like a Tito on the rocks? And she's looking at me like, where's your other lashes? And she's right to say it because I'll be like, girl, they flew off. They went off one by one. We ain't doing that tonight. I don't want to take pictures, so I'm going to try to you know get this look snatch so watch me do the rest of it while i finish this and just hurry up because it's 9 30 i need to be there at least by 11 and still take photos didn't even do my wig you know how it is so let me wrap this up doing the buck in the latest trap got stopped by a lady cop <laughs> she got me thinking i could date a cop because <laughs> a uniform fans 
too tight, she read me my rights She put me in a call, she cut off all the lights She said I have the right to remain silent Now I gotta holler, sounding like a siren Talking about She the law, and she know I'm the ball, and she know I get high, above the law, and she know I'm wrong, she know I'm from the street, and all she want me to do is fuck the police, talking about I kid you guys not, I feel like this is the worst video I've ever put out because there's so many complications that's going on between my camera, it wants to shut off because it's overheated even though that it's not. And then between my background, like I have my neighbors just doing everything. I'm like, ugh, why did this happen to me? I'm trying to put out the best content and it's not working. Same thing with my lashes. I just put on an eyeliner and I have um, my, my lashes, my falsies, I have them drying because I'm gonna put them on top of it to even it out. And honestly, that's an experiment. It really might not work out. And if it doesn't work out, I'm screwed. So I'm trying to do experiments on the worst time while I'm recording, while I have to go out soon and my friend is coming. It's just, it's so much happening at once. My anxiety is flaring up and I'm trying to keep it cool because I'm recording. So while I was um, waiting for the camera to cool off, I contoured my nose as you saw and I powdered it so it could set. And I put some eyeliner on. So now I'm just gonna put on my falsies I'm gonna try my best to. I said I wanted to do it on camera, but it's not easy. So um, let me see if I could move you guys down just a little bit and maybe not. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit more. There we go. So my mirror is literally right here. So as I place them on, <sighs> wish me luck, cause it might not work. I'm taking one of these. I'm going to Pray this comes out really really well and I obviously know one of my lashes is going to be much more fuller and volumized than the other but the goal is to not walk out the house looking like this so let's see from what I've seen in videos the main focus is to make sure that your extensions and your falsies they are pretty much in sync meaning that they look seamless so pushing them together was a trick i've always learned even before i've ever put on um extensions so that's why this tool comes in handy i'm, I'm really like nervous i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm so nervous doing this because as i said this might not work out and i'm doing this off the whim praying that um it works so far it's looking like it but you never know so you're pushing them together so I literally will press mine into it and have it like that I'm not liking this little thing right here but honestly I will probably cover that up with more eyeliner I just want this to be a little bit more volumized, so this is what you see me doing. And this is killing me too, this little one thing, but beggars can't be choosers, so yeah. So now I just need to take this off my nose, that's driving me nuts, so let's see if I can get this off and we're pretty much almost finished. The finishing touches are to um, put on lipstick and you know freshen it up I need to straighten my hair but I'm going to leave this powder on until I literally walk out the door but this is the way how things came out I'm pretty satisfied so after I wipe this away I'm going to just put some color underneath here depending on what my outfit is but yeah this is the way how the look came out for the makeup very natural very cute it's giving all right you put it together as I wanted now this lighting is driving me nuts because as you can see sometimes I'm really really yellow sometimes I'm really really not it depends so that's why I think like I might not upload this video because it's just all over the place and I don't like that I like consistency so 
I'm gonna get dressed, finish everything up, and I'll come back when I'm really, really done. Like, everything is done. Okay, so I'm put together a little bit better, as you can tell. I'm still not digging it, but it is what it is. So I just put on a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my um, waterline. So now it's time to just do my lip liner. I always do the same look. If you know me or if you ever really pay attention, I always do the same look. It never fails. See, very lightly. And I build it. We're gonna put a little bit of some cherry blossom lip glass, you know, anything which I'm very, very low on. Girl, hello, where's the lip gloss? Okay, so this is the look. These lashes are still driving me nuts, but like I said, it's one evening, so we'll do it. I am going to take some photos before my friend comes shortly, so I'll show you in a little bit. But what y'all think? I think this came out really good. Especially with all the different circumstances I had to go through. Honey! Whew! Chill. All right, let me go. Um, let me go ahead and take these photos real quick. The next day. Not even gonna lie to you guys, I have no idea what happened last night. I have no idea what happened with the vlog. I just know the last thing I can remember was I was going out to the party. I couldn't even film in there because it was it was a little ghetto. It was a little little hood. And I me and my friend, we were overly dressed, so I didn't even want to record. I did take some pictures. I think I have a five second video, a five second clip of what it looked like. I might insert it in so you can understand why I'm saying it's giving ghetto. Like, whew. So right now I'm rushing like crazy because today has been a very relaxing day for me. I was, you know, just recuperating from last night since we had a good time. Um, my eyelashes are doing being super super wonky so it's giving I need to take these off technically um so this is pretty much the first time I picked you guys up and it's already 6 p.m. I'm not even lying about that like I've just been really relaxing and just ignoring my phone and vlogging I should be editing but I am actually going out I'm going to a comedy show with um my friend Kim I'm going to include her in the vlog since I didn't do it yesterday, but I am a little bit pressed for time. I'm supposed to be there in an hour and I'm now starting my makeup. So you guys know I hate rushing, but it's looking like I'm going to rush. So I'm going to pick you guys up when I'm finished because I really want to rush this. I might record a little bit of it so you can just see me, you know, do this quick. My goal is to try to get this done in 30 minutes. It's 612. I don't know, but let's see. Okay, so I pretty much finished everything. Um, I just wand curled little pieces of my hair just to, you know, give some type of decent look. So, um, I put on the last strips, not the ones from yesterday, but some different ones just to, you know, at least make myself a little bit look decent because I was looking crazy with that lashes I can't wait to take these off so um yeah I'm just gonna finish the look with just a lip and um yeah we'll be ready to go pretty much as usual a basic brown liner is it just me or like do I feel like I have the loudest neighbors and dogs That's the thing about New York City. You're going to hear everything, baby. You're going to hear everything. I got to do this off camera. This is killing me. Not bad. I might leave it like this.
All right, let me hurry up and get going. Give y'all something that most people ain't gonna give y'all, which is a vibe, you know what I mean? That's a four-letter word like love. Okay. Hello. And I'm gonna say motherfucker a lot because I'm I I'm sorry, I'm just, I got a problem. <laughs> but this first dude, man, before I introduce this introduce this first dude, man, I just wanna say, man, I'm proud of all my brothers that's involved with this situation. My brother Manny, Mac, you my brother too, man. You're involved with this shit too, bro. Hold it above your head. Now, everyone needs to be silent, trust me. We're gonna slide to the left, close your eyes so that everyone knows it works. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Take it back. Cha-cha real smooth. Beautiful. Everyone claps. Of course my battery is dying. What happens, watch, three, two, one. such a good night we had a really fun time me and my friend Kim we went to a comedy show but what my surprise was it's not really a comedy show it was like an open open space where there were comedians there was a magician and there was a really good singer overall I had a good time I tried to record a lot that I wanted to but I thought this was a special that they do, so maybe it was already like pre-recorded. I have no idea. I could be rambling right now. But yeah, it's time for bed. The bonnet is on, the makeup is about to come off, and I am ending the vlog here. If you've made it thus far in the vlog, thank you. Thank you so much for having patience. I feel so bad if you can't hear me, like my voice is so nasty, it's been a long day, I was yelling a lot, not in a bad way, but like, uh, just a really good concert that I went to, really good event that I went to, I lost my voice a little bit, it's a bit raspy, just a little bit, but if you made it this far into the vlog, if you made it to the end, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I also ask just like, comment, and subscribe. It's the best thing that you can do for me besides watch the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. We're going to wrap up the vlog here. I'm tired. I just ordered some Uber Eats. So I got about like, maybe like 20 minutes before they come. 
makeup has to come off, take a shower. I am out of it. Until the next... I'm super, super tired. I'm ready for bed. It's been a long, long day. Until then, guys, I will see you next time. Don't forget, please like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye. Yeah, I can't wait to take all these lashes. I don't know how I'm going to take this one off. But I know this one. Oh, yeah, that feels so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can breathe again. It's just... I don't know how I'm going to take this one off. Oh, God. Oh, I feel so good. I gotta get these lashes off.